The Keeley Dark Side combines three effects into one pedal, fuzz, delay, and modulation, and all three were voiced to sound like the guitar tones of David Gilmour on the Pink Floyd album Dark Side of the Moon. Now, I love David Gilmour with all my heart, but trying to sound like him or trying to sound like anybody is the opposite of what this YouTube channel is about. To be honest, I don't even think you should be trying to sound like me, nor should you be watching this video. But since you are, I'm going to show you five original ways you can use the dark side that have nothing to do with imitating anybody. For starters, we're going to take advantage of the fact that the delay in the dark side is modeling a tape machine with multiple heads, which means the repeats come in different patterns. It's like having a few different delay lines happening at the same time. I think the most advanced pattern might be position 12, where you get four repeats in quick succession, all of them the same volume. For pro tip number one, you want to set the dark side like this, and your playing will have a fluttery, dreamlike quality that doesn't really sound like a delay so much. Another thing you can do with those four repeats is set the dark side like this and then try to make every note you play as tight and short as possible so that the repeats will be indistinguishable from notes you're actually picking. This will make it sound like you're playing four times faster than you actually are, which I know is the number one priority for anybody who buys a pedal to sound like David Gilmour. Pro tip number three, we're going to take advantage of the fact that the modulation part of the Keeley Dark Side has its own level control and the fact that there's an effect order switch. So you can choose, if you use modulation and fuzz at the same time, you can choose which one comes first. So for this pro tip, we're going to make modulation come first and we're going to use these settings in which the modulation itself is inaudible but there is a level boost happening which is then being run into the fuzz now i have the fuzz set to be relatively low powered for fuzz but it's getting pushed by the volume of the other side of the keely and what you end up getting here is a very cool distortion sound that's hard to place <laughs> For pro tip number four, we're going to mimic other pedals like the Super Ego or the Freeze or just more generally slicer effects. The way these work is that they latch onto the middle part of every little note you play and then they sustain that. So even as you go on to play more notes, those fragments of the notes you've already played continue to trail behind you. And the result is a very cool synthesizer-like sound where you have these overtones hovering on top of everything you play. 
pedals that do that are pretty fancy, but there's a low tech way to get a very similar effect on the dark side if you use these settings. number five i'm using the fuzz and the delay and i've got the delay set up for infinite repeats and i'm using one of the funkier repeat patterns so that everything i play will sound a little syncopated now i'm actually not going to play guitar for this example even though my guitar is plugged in you can hear there's sounds like there's a grounding issue actually with the noise on top of the single coil hum. But we're going to use that. We're going to use the noise. And then the pro tip is that without playing guitar, I'm just going to use the effect order switch while the pedal is set up to give me infinite repeats. This is what happens if you do that. I like that one. I liked that one. I'm recording all of this. So now what I'm going to do is go back, find the one I just did in my digital audio workstation and loop that to create a cool rhythm. Mm -hmm. 